Hello, I'm Glenda Lewis, and here are your headlines from 7 Action News. The state's COVID-19 emergency and disaster declaration will be in effect for at least another four weeks. Governor Gretchen Whitmer has signed an executive order extending it through October 27th. She says it's necessary because it will allow the state to continue to mobilize resources. The disease has killed more than 6,700 people in Michigan. And the Warren Police Commissioner telling us they have made an arrest in a hate crime investigation. As we've reported, a string of attacks have terrorized a black family on Tallman Avenue this month. The home of Army veterans, Eddie and Candace Hall, has even been shot at. A rock thrown through a window and tires slashed on their vehicles with offensive messages vandalizing their truck. Police believe the two military veterans were targeted for having a Black Lives Matter sign in their window. We'll have more on the arrest as information is released. And the Detroit City Council has approved a contract extension for a controversial law enforcement tool. The decision to continue to use facial recognition in Detroit the measure passed six to three this afternoon. The $200,000 contract covers maintenance, upgrades, and technical support for the software used by Detroit police. Officers say the software reduces crime and helps get violent criminals off the street, but those who oppose the technology say the software is racially biased and often inaccurate in identifying people of color. The new contract will run through September 2022. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth now with a check of your 7 First Alert forecast. Going to get cooler and then it's going to get real chilly around here. Highs the next couple days in the low to mid 60s, only 60 on Thursday. Rain is pretty likely both days, tomorrow and Thursday as well. Even though we get the sun back, Friday and Saturday are cooler. Mid 50s for highs, we could start the weekend off with some frost on Saturday morning.